Okay, uh, let's see. So we're back. We're good to go. Life is good. The farm is going fairly strong. I almost feel inclined to expand it further. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let's see, so before this video began, we were commenting on the fact that I have a squeaky chair and how all I need is WD-40. I need more than WD-40. This chair is kind of uncomfortable. I would generally be a better idea for me to just replace the thing at this point. Okay, so we have pineapple seeds. I don't actually know how much room we have for pineapple seeds here. I don't want to put anything in the money farm. Because reasons. But let's let's see how many, um, how many pineapples we can cram into this little farm. Nothing else in here? Alright. Yes, eventually, hopefully, it'll be, like, a, a ton of pineapples. Uh, I honestly cannot tell. I think this is the spot we want to be. What is that? Oh, coal. I didn't know we had coal here. Actually, we've got coal and iron ore. I guess I didn't strip mine this place particularly well. Gotta make sure I get rid of that stuff, though, because I can't farm on any of this. Okay, so let's let's just... I... well, you know what? Whatever. That that works out about, about as well as it could have. So let's start... where's dirt? I have sulfuric dirt. I'm not actually sure what would happen if I started put putting down sulfuric dirt. My assumption is we'd probably be okay. Like, I don't think it would actually destroy anything. Or really even cause problems. But at the same time, I can't imagine farming on sulf sulfuric dirt is, uh, is particularly good for your farm. Let's see, so... <laughs> what about a chair made out of crockpots? Har, har. And get a giant beanbag chair. I actually have a giant beanbag chair. It's very hard actually reaching the, um... It's very hard actually reaching the uh, the keyboard and mouse. It works with console recordings, kind of. Oops. But it it's very much mostly there for me relaxing when Shell's doing other things, and I can't like be doing recording stuff. I like the idea of recording from a giant beanbag, but trying to actually have any kind of posture it. Ugh, it would wreck me pretty quick. Right, so let's plop two more of these guys down. And do I just have a bunch of pineapple seeds for them? Alright, there we go. Uh, so I need another bin. Did I did I make another crop bin? No. Gotta go get another one of those. Merry Christmas. Is, this, is it still possibly Christmas anywhere in the world at this point? It's like pretty much 24 hours later. Well, regardless, Merry Christmas anyway. Uh, let's see. Sort these down. Ah, right. I was going to make a bin. A chair made out of stairs. Oh. Oh. That sounds like pain. Let's see, so we want to just get another crop in, probably on this side this time. Uh, I wanna, there we go. Wasn't flipping for some reason. And then we want to just put another broad, broadcast beacon here. This whole broadcast system is actually really cool. Probably one of my favorite uh, mod features. Ooh, bananas. I forgot that I made uh s I, I forgot that I made some banana uh trees to put in here. Alright, but as usual I'm more or less just going to toss them all in in here. This way uh Can I okay, I guess I Oh. That's how I can drink it. it wasn't working right. Okay, there we go. So bananas, pineapples, everything is good. Uh, my brain is distracted by everything else. Okay, and ideally we'll get some more pineapple seeds that I can chuck in there. 
assume, yeah, nothing. Just maybe... Maybe seeds. Wait. Oh, oh, that was 1,900 pixels. Okay, so this is actually funding itself. We're going to need to go get some more money, though. Uh, because... I want to upgrade the plants. Unfortunately, it's pricey to do so. But I think I'm just going to let my, uh... Let my farm go for a while, and then we'll come back and figure out how much money I can make off of this. Uh, let's see. So, return to Esther on the Ark. Could do that. Or I could go back to my ship. What was I even doing? I was doing a lot of, like, just random wandering and ex exploration. Uh, let's see. How many... I don't think I can make any good suits of armor right now. Oh... So that's the set bonus. What is my, uh, what's my damage bonus on this thing? It's 30, 50, 20. Because if I could find some more carbon, we could get the gendarm and just run at things with, with fire. It's not a bad idea. Otherwise we have Slayer. That doesn't look like the Slayer is that helpful. There's really not a whole lot of caster gear. Like, what is it with Starbound and just not having any support for, for caster anything? I don't know. So, I gotta find out where to get bio samples from. Let's work on that. Otherwise, crystals. But I don't know where to get Lunari or ice crystals from. Probably Ice Worlds. Well, let's look up Biosample first. Where do I get Biosamples from? By It can be obtained from chests and breaking bushes found in jungle biomes. Alright, well that's easy. Uh, let's see, what do we even have here? Were any of these jungle? So I think this one might be might have a jungle world over here. Guess that was not exactly the creakiest. We we I don't think we've still actually been over to the weird proto world. I'll have to check that in a second. No, that's a well primeval forest. I wonder if primeval forest counts as uh, as jungle. It'll count as something. And then maybe I can just go quickly run the the Florian main quest. Oops. Okay. So we're hoping to break bushes. For bio samples. I don't entirely know if it's going to work out. Ow. Why? I'll see. Maybe something here has got to have honey. Oh. Well, this is this is a chance to get a uh, a replacement for that raptor we lost, if we see one. If you guys uh, see a raptor, give me a shout because I tend to be a little bit distracted, distractible. So this place is actually pretty good if I want to take a bulldozer through. Please, please. Bees! Ow. Is there another bee? No. Looks like all the bees escaped. Or are dead. Okay. Yeah, what is up tonight? I am just tired. We went out in the cold. It's like 15, 13 degrees out? I think it's colder now, but it was 13 when we went. It's like I think it was 15 when I checked and then checked again and it already dropped 2 degrees. It was windy. Oh, bees. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to find bio sample here? Huh. Ah! 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 Damn it. Okay. Uh... Oh, there we go. Went a bunch of my money. 
I'm gonna go check that again. I wanna go. I wanna see what I wanna. I wanna see what I can do. I'm gonna get to negative forty in Canada tonight. Yeah. I don't. Oh, and that's. Well, what's um, what's colder? Negative forty Fahrenheit or Celsius? I don't act. I don't actually know which is uh which is colder. Now that I'm thinking about it. That's an interesting question. I, I've never been good at conversions. Okay, negative 40 Fahrenheit is... is Wait. Negative 40 is the same for both? Oh. oh. Dang it. See if that person is still there. They should be. Okay, there they are. We just gotta make sure we get the jump on them. There we go. Mainly I've gotta make sure I get above them. There we are. Okay, we're golden. They cannot touch me! But I can touch them with fire- OW! Goddamn bees! Okay, we're getting the armor uh, to make me fireproof. I think it is a. Uh, I think it is worthwhile. Why are there bees attacking this volcano? Specifically, me on said volcano. Like, you think if you were a bee, you'd probably be like, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe screw this place. Let's, let's not. This is this is a bad idea. And yet, well, we just found a lot of drugs. Ow! Why are these people so violent about their volcano? I don't get it. Nope, missed. Dang it. There we go. Right in the kisser. Why is everything burning? Okay, don't want to get too close. These, Whoever these people are, they really, really do not want me to get close to their volcano. Is this it? Is this really it? Just... Well, maybe this console does something. Nope. I guess I'll just camp out in these weird volcano people's tent. I really wish you could actually loot guns from people that you kill in this game. It'd be nice. Okay, do we have anything in these? Nope. And my assumption is... Yeah, there's just lava down there. Why does this place suck? Actually, ash piles. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, this volcano is just kind of this, like, weird... It's this weird aberration. Because it's not even, uh... It's just, like, kind of plonked on top of the honey biome. Very strangely. Alright, yeah, I'm not... I'm not seeing much over here. It's an almost volcano. Might actually be something biosample y. Nope, it's wood. What? Look at that. I don't know what that is. It's not as cool as the other raptor I found, but you know what? Uh, I'll take it. I will gladly take that weird raptor thing. It's not its not the rap raptor I was hunting for, but it's, it's a raptor nonetheless. Ah! Uh, oh, wait. I think that's poison gases. We might not have to worry about that so much. Nope, we do. It's still dirty. What is this stuff? Oh, algae. I gotcha. That's research. Looking for biosamples. 
Apparently this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, apples. Yeah, I've never actually tried making a like an, a fruit fruit farm in this game before. At least, you know, fruit trees. But yeah, I'm betting my uh I'm betting I'm gonna have to go find like a real jungle biome to get bio samples. Cause I'm mostly just getting small bits of research. That is a weird monstrosity that I don't want to deal with. I just got one. Uh. Well, you mean the uh, the fruit farm thing? Yeah, I, I I know I could actually make like a an apple tree off of it. I just don't actually know if it would do what I need it to do. Like um. I'm reliant on on pineapples and stuff to be harvested by the bots. And I don't know if they'll harvest apples for me. I don't even know if apples just fall or if you have to cut it down. Oh. Bio sample. I just got one before. Okay. I'll just have to figure out which one drops them. Oh, dinosaur egg. A freaking dinosaur egg. Wow. What can we do with it, I wonder? Alright, so where do I get bio samples from? It's a bush, I guess. And if I go too far, we end up back in the honey biome. Well, I guess I have the win in doubt situation. I can't figure out which which thing gives me the bio sample. Everything gives me a bio sample, or nothing does. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of this. It's a lot of science, a lot of plant matter, a lot of um. You know, I just realized I'm the I'm the villain from Avatar. I need my MacGuffin thing, so I'm gonna chop down this entire jungle to get it and screw you green trugger, tree huggers for standing in my way. I really am just the villain, what's his face, from uh... Ow, something, something said, oh it's a bee. I'm just making Captain Planet cry. Captain Planet can deal with it. <laughs> These planets are procedurally generated. An infinite, maybe. Actually, I wonder... Is it possible to visit every planet in your, um... In your, like, a uh, Starbound run? It's gotta be more feasible than, like, No Man's Sky. Just go cleave underbrush with a... With the sword. I don't actually have any melee weapons. I am particularly uh, un unarmed when it comes to melee combat. I mostly rely on on cheese battle to to fight back here. To visit every planet would take like a decade. Yeah, I can see that. Well, let's keep looking for those bio samples. We'll find it at some point. We'll also end up with like a stupid amount of apples. But yeah, I'm not seeing many bushes. I should probably kill this thing. A lot of plant matter. Oh, there it is. It's the weird purple things on the ground. That's where I get it from. I gotcha. Alright, well, now we know what to look for. This is only going to give me, like, two. 
Yeah, how many bio samples do I have? Yeah, I only have two. I think I need four. So we're looking for like little purple plants on the ground. What is that noise? Wait, does this area have termites? This area has termites. That's new. I didn't expect termites. But sure. Yeah, that explains why we're hearing things just breaking in the distance, kind of all around us. It, it's it's termites. That's cool. I like that. Uh, I should probably actually start grabbing the um, tungsten as we go by. It's only small amounts, but uh, if I remember right, I'm fairly low on that stuff. Okay, so any more weird purple flowers? Now, does it always? No, it doesn't. We might still have to find a uh, completely different planet to do this on. Let's see. What is this? Are these the termites? I don't know what those were. Dead, that's what. Yeah, we're going to have to find a different jungle planet. Oh! The dozers have a vacuum function with spacebar, so you don't need to go back to pick things up. Thank you, Zekrom. That's super helpful. Also, thanks for the bits. Like, that actually is going to save me an inordinate amount of time. Uh, let's build an apothecary. I'm kind of surprised I didn't already have one. Because I'm, uh... Wounded. Unfortunately, yeah, we're going to have to put this down here. Oh, well, can I make bandages? We need woven fabrics. Which actually is way easier to make than I thought. Wolfen fabric, 42. What do I need to upgrade this now that I'm thinking? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go find some poison. At least this way we end up with a ton of healing items. Okay, so before we go, let's go to the... Let's go, let's do a little bit of interstellar... Interstellar piracy. I want to check out the unique planet types while we're here. Uh, let's see. How much sand do I have? I might want to stop by the uh, the desert planet and get a little bit more. I actually don't really see a whole lot of sand in this entire lineup. I should probably also start getting rid of some of the, like, some of the tomb bricks, temple blocks... Anything lower than uh than fifty we don't need. Should probably also get rid of all the hull panels. Actually, you know what? I have I've got the uh, uncrafter. Let's just start uncrafting that stuff. Okay. Let's see. Remember you can use water for poison. One drop in water will give you all the poison you need. You are totally correct. Uh, the main problem is we have to find one thing of poison first. I used it all. Like a dummy. Oh, I should have grabbed lava. What is that? Oh, it's an energy canister. Didn't really need that, but still. Right, we might want to go... We might want to go consider... Or... See if I can get a new weapon for this thing. The laser is neat, but we need something a little bit more punchy for dealing with these guys. Honestly, the drill just feels kind of like a, a waste of a slot. Because I can just get out and mine generally faster than this. And or... I'm really curious what would happen if I pulled out the, the bulldozer. Probably nothing. <laughs> you really can see my wings through the mech, can't you? <laughs> oh, man. That is kind of... 
kind of stupid. Ah. We made a lot of friends. Okay, yeah, this is... If I could get, like, a homing rocket launcher, we would be unstoppable. I mean, already we're pretty... We're actually pretty strong. That's still... Already got something punchier. I have wizard magic fireballs of death. They don't work so great in space, though. It's really hard to drive. In space... What is this? What is this? What kind of goofy spaceship is this? Hey guys, I found the... Oh shoot, what are they called? The, um... Gwauld! I found the Gwauld! And why are they injured? Oh, because Dumbass has a flamethrower <gasps> with crystals. Are these just regular crystals? Okay. Nothing in there. I suppose I should probably scan these things. I should probably... Sit down and do story stuff at some point. Uh. Huh. Oh, there's a switch over here. That's probably what opens the doors. Oh. That has a staff as a quest reward. You brought a bow to a firefight, eh? Your predecessor was smarter. Your successor was even dumber. He just died. Can those orbs, ma orbs make uh, fireballs through walls? Sadly, no. This area is like perpetually on fire. Okay, there we go. It just can do it around corners. It has like a bizarre line of sight situation. I guess I might as well take a little bit of a nap here, but yeah, I'll have to check. The, I'll have to check this out. Uh, this will let me bypass the the avian scanning quest potentially too. Have you ever played avian? Their ships a pyramid. I actually have never played avian. Uh, I've only ever played uh, Nova Kid and Glitch. I'm not much of a. Uh, I'm not much of a Starbound player. I mean, I've played like an inordinate amount of it this past, you know, couple weeks. Uh, but most of that was entirely just uh, for this series with one one character. <laughs> She's like, who's there? Answer. Fireballs, since I'm uh, since I'm only jumping lightly, they god damn the AI in this game is terrible. Beep boop. Beep boop boop beep boop. Anything in there? Some kind of book. Avian traditions. I think that's a grenade launcher in there. Okay. And then the last and most easy of all, this person. At the apex of the pyramid. Oh. That's another place to sleep. Uh, let's see. Salvaged armor plates. I really do feel like the drop rates of, the, of stuff in here kind of just dismal. Seriously, that was it. I got an armor plate. Well, I guess let's just get out of here. I love the huge inventory mod. Yeah, honestly, it was, it was worth uh, my game kind of wrecking itself so I could so I could get the uh so I could get that. So we actually have another mission. Ancient Temple and Sky Boulevard. 
I don't know why it says two or six plus. We've never actually been to the science outpost. I should probably do that at some point. Okay. Oh, let's see. So we want to go find... Oh, right. We are going to go to this planet. Seeing as we're here, I should probably actually see what a proto-world is. Proto... Proto-site. Proto-poison protection. Well, I if I'm lucky, I'm just poison immune. 